record you. All right, so Rigo hasn't had his car in like a month. He's like so excited. So shout out to John for doing the coating yeah, though. Look at the interior first. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Let's get, let's get your reaction. Ooh, it's, it's saucy. Like Ooh, <laughs> it's saucy. I fixed that piece on the back seat too. It's not falling off anymore. Man, where did John do it? Man, John, you oh! after everything like in there, the leather. Yeah, I think that, oh, I feel this. It didn't feel like drying anymore. Man. No, he put some oh, UV shit on it. Out. it so Rigo's gonna oh, give us a cold <laughs> start. Slob on the knob. <laughs> You ready? I don't know if you're ready for this, Rigo. What's up? That's, I don't know if you're ready for this. Where's the GoPro, man? It's in the deal. Uh, do you want me to get it recorded with the GoPro? Nah, it's okay. It's shitty and low light anyways. Ready? Yeah. What's up, Dream Chasers? Kevin Van Voris here for another video for you guys today. Happy Saturday. We just had one of the most epic caffeine and cars events. I don't even know how many toys we got. I would say at least a thousand. So it feels so good to be able to help and put on these events and know that it's going to help out some kids. So running caffeine and cars, it's a lot of work but it's so much fun. It's so it's just beautiful to see so many people get together and come together for a good cause each month. So thank you guys for anybody who's ever shown up. If you haven't been to Caffeine and Cars, you are missing out. We have them every month. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, at KellyBoyKev, and on Snapchat, at KellyBoyKev. Anyways, today's the day, people. Today is the day we're gonna see if we can finally put down a nine second pass in the Hellcat in Amarillo. Uh, as some of you guys may or may not know, we live at 3,500 feet elevation. We're not at sea level. The DA is terrible. I think today is gonna be maybe 4,000 if we're lucky. But anyways, we're gonna head to the drag strip, which I rented out <laughs> for five hours. And we're gonna see if we can put down a nine second pass. Wish me luck. Pause the video. Let me know what you guys think I'm gonna be running today. and. Uh, Wish me luck. It's off the Remy, had up at post. Had to in my old town, lift up the nose. All right, so we just spent like an hour moving my water pump for my ice tank. It was sitting too high, creating too many bubbles, so we're gonna move up and get our first run in. time slips obviously you have to go up and have it printed for you it felt really good I'm pretty sure my mile an hour was definitely over 140 um, I spun a little bit at the beginning um, the, the track is I think it needs a little more work but uh, I'll have the throttle maybe a little less on the next one because I kind of gave a little more than maybe I should have um, we will see what it ran. I think the DA is 4,800 right now. I will double check and I'll screenshot it uh, right now so I can show you guys.
Alright guys, so it's the next day, it's Sunday, I just woke up, that's why I have my sunglasses on in my garage. <laughs> um, wow, wow, yesterday was incredible. Um, yesterday was just an all around amazing day. Uh, we had an awesome turnout for Toys for Tots and uh, went to the track, which we did a private track rental. Um, and we did something that I was blown away by, and I don't know if any of you guys will be blown away by, but you know, we made the fastest pass in the world for a Hellcat on airbags, and uh, pretty wild stuff. Before I get into the times and the slips and all that stuff, I want to give a huge shout out to Andy and Dan over at Livernoy Motorsports. They have taken care of me, they are people that I trust, they know my goals. Um, when I first talked to Livernoy, I said I wanted something reliable. I wanted to be able to run nines and, um, I didn't want it to ruin the drivability of the car. Pretty basic stuff, but it's not easy to do that. It is not easy to do that on any car. You can really fuck up the drivability real quick. You can go fast, but I liked the Hellcat because of the drivability, how big it was, how comfortable it was. I could drive the shit out of it to the track, put down some runs, go to Mexico, turn on my heated seats and go home. I love this car. This car is one of my favorite cars. You know, I drive the track hawk every day and I forget about this car <laughs> sometimes. This car is amazing. <clears throat> yes, it's a little loud, um, but this car is fucking amazing. And this car would not have done what it did yesterday without my brother's help right here. The OG, the Sneaky Cat. One of the fastest challengers out. And this could have been one of the fastest challengers. Um, but Dave decided he wanted to go a different direction. But I think yesterday he would have put down some stupid times. And I wish he would have kept it, kept all his mods till we went to Houston next month and just to scene because we're going to be at negative. 15 to negative 2000 DA in Houston, which I'm really excited about. And I think his car could have done some really epic stuff. But my brother's awesome. He's helped me a lot on this process. Um, you know, we're not mechanics or anything, but we try and do as much stuff as we can by ourselves. And I don't know how to do, it's not that I don't know how to do everything, but it's, I don't have a lot of time. And, uh, you know, my brother would come help me work on the car. He would even work on the car when I'm at work. So I got to give him a huge shout out. <coughs> he's been here through the whole process um but man what an incredible ride yesterday so we're gonna go over these slips here so my first run uh which was at 5100 da i believe i will screenshot the da here um i ran a 9.78 at 142 miles an hour, my 60 foot was a 142. Fucking moving. Um, and that's actually a faster 60 foot than David got at Amarillo. Pretty wild. And my eighth mile was a 6.3. Run number two 
was my 60 foot was not as good, but I think we lowered the tire pressure on that one. Um, was a one four eight. Nope. Excuse me. Hold on. Excuse me. Nope. 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 That's uh, that's my third one. My second run was a one four six. Uh, 60 foot. My eighth mile was a 6.29. My quarter mile was a 9.74 with 144 mile an hour. And then my third run um, was my 60 foot was a 148. So it started getting worse. And I think honestly is because of the track. Um, there wasn't people going and going and going. There's only 10 of us. Um, so 148, 60 foot, eighth mile was a 6.3, 6.33, six, three. uh, quarter mile was still a 9.79 with 142 in the, uh, uh, quarter mile. So I ran nine sevens all day. Um, David actually ended up taking it on the last run. He ran a 9.82. Um, but by that time, the track again was just pretty, it was gone. Um, they tried to do their best that they could, but not a lot of people were running on it. So, and <clears throat> the temperature started dropping pretty, pretty cold too. Um, but the DA the whole day was 4,900 to 5,100, <laughs> which is terrible. So if you guys take what Amarillo is, so uh, my 9.7, uh, my 9.7.8 pass, the first pass that I ran was at 5,100 DA. Now let's say I do that exact same uh, slip, right? At negative 1500 DA, you're talking a nine five for sure in this car. So I broke the record. The current record I believe was like a nine eight nine or nine eight four or nine eight. It's some guy um, out of California who has a Whipple Charger Hellcat. His car was moving. Um, he had a, I think it was a 984 or a 986. So he was in California. DA was probably 1500, 500, 500 to 1500 probably. So my goal today was just to beat that. That's all that was. And, uh, we did that. We got a 974 and, uh, we are going to reset that record in Houston. And, um, you know, I'll make a separate video on the mods and stuff, but it, there's not a crazy amount done to this car, and this car is full weight. So for anybody who doesn't believe me, I have full weight. Door panels, everything. Um, we didn't take the exhaust off. We didn't take the wiper blades off. We, you know, I'll show you guys the trunk. You know, there's the airbags. Can't take that out. Um, ice tank is right there. Um, we didn't do any weight, uh, we didn't do anything to take off weight except the 15 inch conversion in the rear and the 15 inch conversion in the front. And I didn't even take off my sway bar. My sway bar is still underneath there and that's about 30 pounds. So, um, I do got to give a shout out to SRT Mush because he did tell me, which I didn't even know. I didn't know if I had the right struts, but you can actually adjust the dampering on these which did make a difference on the lift and i'll put a video here of rego and the car actually <laughs> it got up it almost did a fucking wheelie it was damn close uh if i can find good video of it uh, everybody at the track said it almost did a wheelie, which is fucking crazy. So I'm hoping in Houston we can do a wheelie. That'd be epic. But um, I got to give you a huge shout out to Rigo. Rigo with the camel kit. Cat did amazing yesterday. He got a 10-6 in a manual Hellcat, which is really good for his first, first day. First day. Um, so that that that's really awesome. He's got a ton of room to improve. His 60-foot... Uh, um was a one eight which is his best usually he's like in a two one two two range so um but i did want to make a quick video and i gotta have a huge shout out to everybody who supports the channel thank you guys so much man we fucking did it <laughs> this is officially a nine second car i knew the potential it had 
Um, David realistically should have ran a 9 when he ran a 10.0 a couple months ago um, during our Halloween caffeine and cars, but the track was not good at all. Um, otherwise, he would have ran a 9.9 nine then um, on the 275. So this is with the 265 pulley. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much. I'm going to go eat some food, go hang out with Rigo and Marie, Dave, Kennedy, and Rachel at Torchies. So hopefully you guys have an amazing day. I'm going to enjoy my day. Let me know in the comments below um, what you guys think. For those of you guys who have seen the process so far in this car, and uh, for anybody who lives in Houston, I will be going to Houston on January 12th. So let's hang out. Let's chill together. And um, also, real quick, because I know a lot of you guys like to buy CA gear, uh, use Christmas 2018 for 40% off your uh, checkout. If you guys want to grab something before Christmas or grab your wife or brother or whatever. Um, a lot of you guys have been asking me about that. So we do have a 40% off coupon on all CA gear. Thank you guys so much for supporting. Make sure you guys follow me at Cali Boy Kev on Instagram and on Snapchat. My name is Kevin Van Voris, and I'm out this bitch.